Uh, good morning, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budrum and this morning I'm making some uh, bunya nut and cassava fritters. I'm making these for lunch. So I'm just grating some bunya nut and uh, these have been uh, taken out of the shell for about three days. So I'm just uh, uh, grating them in the garlic crusher. This video might suit anybody that grows cassava that also has access to bunya nuts or uh, monkey puzzle nuts. I think mo monkey puzzle nuts would probably work the same. So uh, after they've been uh, cooled for a couple of days, after they've been uh, de-shelled for a couple of days, they do dry out a bit. But at the same token, it turns it into a nice flour when you when you grate them. So I haven't been doing this very long, and I've got myself a nice little pile there. So um, yeah, it doesn't take long to get a cup, does it? No. I've got two of these packets of cassava left. So I bag these up at 110 grams and uh, freeze them. And I'm due to harvest the cassava again in a week's time or after a bit of rain when the ground's a bit soft. Have so you got a video of harvesting cassava yep. yet? Yeah, so nearly, I two, we did. nearly two years ago yeah, we did that. Back. What I've got is uh, 110 grams of uh, grated bunion nut. I'm going to add one egg. And about a third of a cup of milk. Uh, about, oh, maybe a cup of teaspoons of olive oil. A bit of pepper to taste. A pinch of salt to taste. And uh, I'm not sure how much self-raising flour, but just uh, just a bit of self-raising flour, and just a maybe uh, a couple of tablespoons, maybe. All right, so here's my packet of cassava. So I'm just going to work this all through, and get the right get the right consistency. I'd say I will be putting a bit more milk in so, uh, so it probably will be probably half a cup of milk. So uh, I'm just combining all that together. Now we're going to put our frying pan. I'm just going to uh, Put a bit of olive oil in there. You don't put sugar in that, do you? No, no. I just have. So I basically do. have this for my breakfast. So yeah. I suppose uh, I cook it. I put jam on it, so there's sugar in the jam. There's enough sugar. Yeah. Now I use uh, bananas as well on it, and there's sugar in that. So you don't need it. Don't need it, no. no. Well, no. So I'm ready to uh, put uh, put it into the frying pan. So putting about a quarter of this mixture in the fry pan uh, and this was for my lunch uh, Wilma has something else for lunch and, uh, and I won't cook the other half so so will you keep that for breakfast tomorrow? yeah, uh, yeah have that for breakfast tomorrow so I'll just keep that in, so I'll do cook half of it now for lunch and the other half for breakfast tomorrow so we're not cooking any I'm not cooking any bread rolls until this is, until my cassava's all used up. <laughs> oh, okay. So this has virtually been my staple diet for the last week. Uh, all of a sudden it sort of hit me that, it, that I had this cassava in the freezer and um, I'm using up these bunion nuts before the bunion nuts start dropping and um, so we, I'm using up the bunion nuts as well as the cassava. <laughs> before the next lot come in. So I don't like having stuff in the freezer when the new lots... Same thing with the sweet corn and the beans. Use all them up before the next lot comes in. Okay, so I think I'm ready to turn this one over now. It's sort of um, just... Oh my. So it's oh, just got a nice, <laughs> nice colour on that side. So I'm just going to get the other side nice and brown and, uh, and do another one like that one. So I'm just going to uh, turn it over again. 
Uh, that side there is um, get a nice colour on it. So, uh, Lovely. I'm just going to let the other side get a bit browner. So I think this one's ready to come out. So it's got a beautiful colour. So I'm just going to beautiful. Going to let him cool down a bit. And I'll Smells the, nice too. Beautiful, and I'll take the hot plate off. Off the, uh, I'll take the frying pan off the hot plate before I put the second one in, otherwise it'll cook while I'm trying to spread it out. Okay, so our last, our last one's ready to come out and uh, it's, it's done. So, uh, what I've got to go with it, this doesn't look all that appetising, but it's this is my black sapote jam. It looks like something you'd sort of rub on your uh, axle or something like that. <laughs> but uh, it's absolutely beautiful. The only thing that would make that better is if you have it with a bit of butter instead of margarine. Commonly called chocolate pudding fruit, isn't it? Uh, chocolate pudding fruit, yeah. So our very first upload was uh, black sapote jam a couple of years ago. So uh, it's fantastic. Okay. I'm going to have that with some uh, fresh banana, with some ripe banana. Oh, that sounds nice. On the, on these. Oh, that's what I've been having every day. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye.